Outsider 2018, our 4th year. In this moment, when we're moving towards, inching towards the 50th anniversary of the Stonewall Riots. There still exists a general state of either denial, complacency, or even apathy about both the reality and the potential effects of what you can. An event that has cemented itself as the centerpiece of gay liberation. Don't be a member to the government. They hack us, we hack back. Out of Time was at least initially conceived as a nod to the more hidden homo history. I tend to think about the bookbinding and making your own books, even scrapbooking, as a feminist praxis because it's preserving this technology that was actually one of the only respectable careers for a woman to have outside of the home in the 18th and 19th century. And the queer mischief of anachronisms. Mercy Paul, now that ain't a word I heard in the spell. Ain't no mercy Paul, ain't no. I think it works. Past and futures queerly colliding in ways that are disruptive. <laughs> Queer slow dance out in the tent area, taking you back to junior prom, but not the traumatic, terrible junior proms that we probably all had, but recuperating it and queering it and making it fun and good and loving and happy and all the good things that it probably never was. I'm trying to facilitate, you know, like strangers meeting. Um, but also, you know, we have like the mirror ball twirling and like it's, it's very dim in the room and I play like all these songs that are like slow. You only need to like uh, hug and shuffle, you know, vaguely like counterclockwise. Um, at Queer Slow Dance, we do not judge your gender or your orientation. The only thing we judge is your behavior. Even though I smile. I'm angry most of the time. Here are some reasons why. Number one, the white person's smile. Not the genuine one. The one that's less about actually connecting with me and more about proving to themselves that they're not racist. Number three, the way the word queer seems to erase the LGBT that comes before it. The fact that I don't even really understand what queer means, and sometimes I don't care to, because I don't feel like it includes me. Number five, the fact that no matter where I go, no matter which of my communities I am in, I am always an outsider. There was a time, not too long ago, um, in the mid-2000s, when a lot of queer scholars, including Ann Svetkovich, including myself, started writing about the idea of queer time. And there are numerous texts that were written exploring what we call queer temporality, okay? So that's an important idea for queers, because as queers, we look at the world and feel the world and feel time in the world differently. The past tends to be a source of both comfort and pain for queers and for lesbians. Um, and so uh, there was a lot of discussion about that and a lot of people sort of coming down on that, you know, how can we get to a future um, when we're to a certain extent very wedded to the past. 
Caracterizamos nosotros como cantantes. Santos, quien hizo un recorrido en helicóptero por el sector. I work a lot with kind of subconscious, and when I'm in the studio. The main thing for me is to kind of just really go with it and and sort of like be free of any kind of preconceived ideas and let things sort of emerge. There's a lot of memory there, right? But I don't really classify things. I tap into things way beyond myself, whatever memory that would be. The message translated across like a data screen. The cats claimed a mission of mercy. They intended to end the human cold war. As so the Outsider Festival has been incredible, truly. It's, it's, I've toured around the US, I've been to many festivals, and this one is truly unlike anything else. Truly a safe space for us weirdos and us fabulous freaks to come together and just be ourselves, make art, do what comes naturally to us. So I dance for the Graham Company, and as a dancer I sort of felt that ecstasy and agony at the same time. I was at a very lonely point in my life and I was listening to a lot of Diana Ross mm -hmm. and there was a yelp that she did. It's 
just hit me that like this is the same excessive expression of emotion that's so overwhelming it's both things in one body mm -hmm. and nobody ever really did this at the Graham school because there was a long gap um, because of AIDS there were men that had died so I didn't know this history of the gay um, and queer life of Martha Graham <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.